guys. This is David, and it is two minutes to oh! So let's get started right now. One of my favorite basketball teams ever, the Miami Heat, especially the 2006 Miami Heat. Uh, I don't care what Dallas Mavericks fans say, Miami completely earned that championship. One of the most potent offenses and probably the greatest teams of all time is the 2018 Golden State Warriors. I was talking to my good friend uh, Jeff George yeah, about them the other day and he said there'll be like two minutes left in the game. They're down by like 20. They're down by 30. It just didn't even matter because they would suddenly on a barrage, an offensive barrage. And they would win the game by like 10 points or by 20 points. It would be ridiculous. It's, they didn't just do it once. They consistently did it. And what my friend Jeff was saying was that he felt like in 2020, what God's about to do is going to race uh, the whole three and a half quarters of just bad basketball or, you know, terribleness. And he's about to show us a barrage of his goodness, show us a barrage of his grace and love, show us a barrage of his power. And can I tell you, God's done this before. You've seen it numerous times. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 17. Uh, Elisha is about to be captured by the Syrian army. The whole army comes to take him. Elisha's servant is kind of concerned. He's like, Elisha, well, what are we going to do? And he's scared. And Elisha prays. He said, Lord, open his eyes to see. God opens his eyes. The servant sees hosts of angels, more than the army, all around the city. And what God is doing is so much bigger than what any earthly power or any demon in hell can do. I believe God wants to remind you, don't lose hope, because just as he did for Paul, and as Fred Hammond would say, God's going to turn it around. God hasn't washed away 2020. Maybe you have, but he hasn't. He's about to do something amazing. Keep holding on to hope. You're not going to have to do things in your own power. You don't have to stockpile guns and things like that. No, you don't have to stockpile food. God's about to do something amazing. And I want to encourage you, keep your ear to his spirit. Turn off all the other noise. I've said this so many times before when you watch this video, watch this video. Turn off the noise and spend time with him. Let his Holy Spirit guide you and lead you. Let him speak to you about what he's about to do. And you're going to forget about the last three and a half quarters of 2020 because you're going to see the goodness of God. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope it bless you. I hope it encourages you. I'll talk to you later. Late in the